A trial balance can have errors. So, what are they? I'm Thomas Harwood and welcome to the Accounting Student where we create free and short videos so that you can learn about accounting. Today's video is looking at what are the errors not affecting the trial balance. The trial balance is a useful method for preparing the financial statements of an entity. It follows the dual aspects concept and also assists in identifying errors made in the double entry records. However, the major limitation of the trial balance is that even if the trial balance totals agree or balance with each other, there can still be some errors in the accounts which will not be revealed by the trial balance. There are six main errors errors that do not affect the trial balance. They are error of omission, error of commission, error of principal, compensating error, error of original entry and complete reversal of entries. The first error is error of omission. This is where an entry has been entirely left out of the accounting records. For example, the purchase of goods to K George of £85 has been completely left out of the accounting records of Good Limited. The next error is error of commission. This is where the entry has been recorded in the right type of account but in the wrong account's name. For example, the goods bought from J Thomas for £30 was entered in error to J Thomas's account. Error of principle is where the entry has been made in the wrong type of account. For example, a purchase of a motor vehicle was entered in the motor vehicle expenses account rather than the motor vehicles account. The compensating error is where errors made in one part of the account exactly cancels out another error made in another place in the accounts and this is very difficult to detect. For example, the wages account is overcast by £50 and the sales account has also also been overcast by the same amount. The next error is the error of original entry. This is where the original value from the source documents was calculated incorrectly. For example, a purchase invoice valued at £21 was wrongly entered in the accounts as £12. The last error is the complete reversal of entries error. This is where correct values are entered into the accounts but are posted on the wrong side of the accounts, i.e. the account that should be debited is credited and vice versa. For example, a payment to A. Jones of £70 was wrongly debited to the bank account and credited to A. Jones. So that was the explanation of the errors not affecting the trial balance. If you enjoyed it, press the like button. If you have a question you want answered, leave it in the comments below and we'll try our best to answer it. And if you're not already subscribed make sure you click the red subscribe button to keep updated with the accounting student thanks for watching we'll see you next time